today we'll be experimenting for residual chlorine as you can see we have taken acetic acid sodium thiosulfate indicator as potassium iodide we have taken starch the burette is filled with standard sodium thiosulfate solution we have taken 100 ml tap water as a sample in the conical flask 5 ml of acetic acid is added to the sample A pinch of potassium iodide is taken and is added to the sample. This will slight change in the color. It has changed to pale yellow color. Now this will be titrated against standard sodium thiosulfate solution. As you see, from dark yellow color to it has changed to pale yellow color. The color has faded out. So after this, add the starch. One ml of starch is measured and is added to the same sample. As you can see, it has turned to dark blue color. Now again this is being titrated against sodium thiosulfate solution. Titrated until the blue color disappears or fades out. Note down the burette reading for the calculation of amount of residual chlorine that is present in the sample. Repeat the same procedure for the blank solution. Note down the burette readings for the blank solution where blank solution is your distilled water. Then direct the blank solution reading from the actual reading solution in order to get the residual chlorine value. 